Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot and happy birthday. This is a reading for next week and my goodness we're moving into Taurus season. Wow. So happy birthday to all you beautiful Taurians that are having a birthday this week. So we end the week with the Aries season with a bang with a new moon in Aries, the second new moon for the month and this one's an eclipse. So it's at 29 degrees of Aries. It's happening on the 19th or 20th, depending on where you are in the world. And this is a total solar eclipse. As you know, eclipses can bring in a reset. They can bring in change. And this can activate unexpectedly up to six months after the event. And so then we move straight into your season and Mercury is in your sign and Mercury turns retrograde in your side. So straight into a Mercury retrograde. So a lot happening here, but we have the hanged man, patience and perspective. Absolutely. I think you're going to really enjoy the change in the tone, the change in the pace with this sense of the hanged man is just about, because we also have, you know, having the patience to gain the new perspective because it does feel like there's something new coming in here with the two of acorns. This is the two of wands. A new path is opening up for you that gets activated in that new moon in Aries. It's like a new path that comes in perhaps a new intention that you're setting here and you've got the insight about what it is that you're ready to focus on now but then it's like I'm not rushing into it I'm understanding and seeing that maybe I'm taking those first steps or I'm seeing the path ahead but I'm having the patience to gain the perspective because before I step into it so it feels like a very carefully considered new direction that's coming through here with this Taurus so Let's see what else is coming through. It, I think focusing on details is something that, that's going to be really important. The hermit, yeah, and the fool. The hermit is very, you know, having a think about it, having a deep think, being very wise about the fool is usually fairly impulsive. I'm going to jump into something new, step into the unknown, maybe take a risk. Next to the hermit card, this fool is not taking a risk. It's how to think about it beforehand. What's this new thing? The full represents reset. What's this new thing that's activating, that's resetting here? And is this wise? So I'm having a big think about that here with the full card coming in. So you're, you're looking before you're leaping, which is actually good. But it doesn't mean that it's this is not an exciting thing that's coming through. It just feels like there's too many cards there. Taurus. I did see the Wheel of Fortune coming in, which was good, but um, it's like I'm ready to activate something new, but I'm I'm not, I, I'm kind of, there's a bit of risk averse about it. I'm going to consider it first. So careful consideration before stepping into the new path, quite literally, is the Hermit and the Fool. Let's see, the Page of Swords. So yeah, might even need to kind of just release some of the kind of pressure or tension that might be building about this. But the Page of Swords is about working out new ideas. So the Fool is kind of taking a leap of faith and finds itself still in the element of hair, of hair, <laughs> the element of air, not the element of hair. But um, yeah, quite literally maybe. But um, maybe getting a haircut could be something that could come through. You might have these brilliant ideas while you're at the hair salon. But yeah, the hermit and the fool, the fool jumps and leaps it, takes a leap and finds itself in the element of air, the page of swords. It hasn't quite landed yet, but it's kind of going, okay, uh, I'm having a big think. There's new ideas, there's new things, new solutions that are coming in here. So I've just got an open and curious mind about where this is going and, and what can be happening with this. So let's see what else is coming through, <laughs> Taurus. So... Let's see what else is that energy of for Taurus. So, yeah, it's Taurus season. You want to be looking good, feeling good. So two of cups, very nice. There's a connection, a relationship here. So this definitely could be a new relationship for some of you or a new direction within a relationship or a new connection that comes in. We've got the Knight of Cups and the High Priestess. Wow. Okay. There's romance here for some of you. Knight of Cups is the card of love and romance and the High Priestess is being revealed to you. High Priestess likes to be the number one, but it's also trust your intuition with where your heart is leading you. This can be a, a vision, a dream, uh, you know, but it can also be, yeah, I feel like there's definitely a fantasy here or love and romance here. Your heart is taking you on a journey. 
and it's rich with a lot of possibilities. It's a very fertile space for making new connections or a new uh, yeah, new love to come through or a new direction within a relationship. So this is beautiful energy for you, Taurus, coming through. It really is. So the full finally lands. And where does it land? With the Knight of Cups. Lands on the earth. But the Knight of Cups is about to cross the river, cross the threshold into the underworld, the high priestess, which is very much about... The, this is the Persephone, the queen of the underworld, holding the pomegranate, so full of fertility, new possibilities. So you're kind of going into this underworld space, but it's with that knight of cups crossing into an intuitive threshold here, trusting your intuition about a person. So, yeah, wow. What an amazing journey I think you're about to go on here. And I love the Knight of Cups. There's this um, sense of purity that comes in with it and naivety even with the white horse of the Knight of Cups and the white dress of Persephone. It's almost like going in with pure intentions or open-hearted. Seems to be really um, a nice energy around it, important energy. So let's get a message. It feels lovely it really is a lovely journey of your heart that's coming in here so let's see let's pull a message from your inner child so the start of Taurus season wow okay let's see message from your inner child we've got the five of swords okay interesting the five of swords I mean, the fool represents the inner child taking you on this journey. But this is a card of conflict, inner conflict about it, perhaps feeling a little bit conflicted or that there is conflict around this new path or this, this new thing that you're thinking about with a relationship or a connection, or this new person that comes into your world. It's potentially creating a little bit of conflict for the inner child. So I actually want to pull... Uh, there's conflict around. So I just want to pull another card around it, a clarifier. Wow. Goodness. Look at this. The two of cups again and the eight of wands. Bzz, electric focus. Everything's coming to this point, to this head. So listen to your heart, the direction that your heart is taking you. This is either bringing you, it's asking you to focus on a relationship, focus on a connection that's coming through. There could have been a little bit of conflict around it. So perhaps it's about focusing on um, that conflict in some way, shape or form. But yeah, it really is listen to that. Yeah, it's yeah interesting. Again, it's not all, it's not seeing things through rose-coloured glasses. That's the thing. There's a dose of reality that comes in with this in a good way because there's a level head that comes in with it. So it's, um, yeah, which I think is actually a good thing. I think it's a good thing. So, yeah, there's definitely a new connection, a new direction a new, in love that the universe is really asking you or a relationship that the universe is really asking you to focus on at this moment in time. So, and have the patience to gain the new perspective and, yeah, to trust the direction that you uh you've got insight and focus so you've got the insight to see what it is that you're focusing on but um, yeah really trust that beautiful heart of yours so it feels really like a fascinating little journey you're about to head off on Taurus I like it so that is your reading for the week thank you so much for joining me please like subscribe share leave a comment love to read your comments and if you're interested in the beautiful Patreon community we are building and growing the link for that is in the description box below 